11th in front of me. Um, and he also appeared um, last month, August 15th, in front of Hearing Officer Ferris. Um, so he had noticed to be here today. He did not appear today. He has not made any significant, any progress, not significant. He's not made any progress, um, whatsoever. Uh, I am going to order that we proceed with the cleanup. I'm also going to issue a fine in this matter. He knew to be here today. He chose not to come and he has chosen to, in fact, add stuff to the pile of mess outside. So, okay. all right. Um, number three. 13 on our docket. Okay. Luanda, oh, we, let me yeah. let me also add on that last one. Um, he We did have a green card back signed, um, giving him notice for today's proceedings, as well as the fact that he was noticed in court last time. All right. Now number 13. Okay. Lawanda Williams for 2402201 PSG 5702 Lucille. This has been abated. Oh, great. I'll show that abated. Thank you so much. You. All right, next matter we'll call is case number 17 on our docket, 2307386 PSD regarding 7033 Line Avenue. All right, how you doing? Good morning. My name is Inspector Gerald. The violation number is 2307386 PSD. We're going to go ahead and move forward with the um, demo. I did talk to the citizen. and she, um, she wanted the city going to um, demo it down, but she said she won't be able to make it here. So She wants to make it what? She want, She said she won't be able to make it. Okay. All right. Um, I will note that the original inspection in this matter happened on July 17th of 2023. There was an appeal form, fi uh, appeal form signed. And um, we have received some of the, we sent notice to several addresses. All but one of those have been received. Um, and noting that the property owner has been in contact with property standards and is in agreement with a demo, then I will order that demo completed. I will get a judgment signed as soon as possible. All right, thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, Number 22 on our docket, 2403389 PSG regarding 5619 King Street. Go ahead. Um, this violation, um, she has she has cleaned some of it up, but they're still working on it. I mean, it, it was worse. It was worse. That I am. Yeah. You're correct. <laughs> <laughs> um, are you in good contact with her? I went by there yesterday, but I think she was at work. Okay. Um, but I, I'm sure I'll see her when I go back through there this week. But they have been working on it, and uh, since it had rain yesterday, sure, and the day before, so um, all right, that probably um, slowed their little progress up. But they have worked on it, and I want to give them a little bit more time to clean it up. Okay, um, let's see. I will note the original inspection of this matter happened on March twentieth of twenty twenty four. This case came before me um, July eleventh of twenty twenty four. And the case was continued to today. I do see that some progress has been made. Um, not as much as I would like, but some progress. Um, I will, I'm going to order a $50 fine. And um, I will also order that they be back um, November 14th. All right, and then um, number 23, 2406691 PSG regarding 6220 Greenwood Row, Road. Okay, 
um, <clears throat> the owner went back out and cleared it up. And uh, so we, uh, my supervisor asked, well, this Mr. Green has looked at the photos mm -hmm. so we can actually close this violation. Perfect. So we can show it abated? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Awesome. We will show that abated. All right. The next, thank you so much. The next matter will be case number 26. 2312605 PSD regarding 2057 Looney Street. Inspector Ray for um, case number 2312605 PSD. Structure still is in the state of disrepair and deterioration. No repairs has been conducted to abate the property or structure. All right. Um, have you had any contact with the owner? Yes, Mr. Mr. Victor Thomas. Um, yeah. He text messaged me on Friday, August 23rd. That was the last time I had okay. any contact with him. What did he say? He continues to say he um been out of town. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, so 2057 Looney Street, I will note the original inspection. This matter happened December 7th of 2023. The home is like visibly, I don't want to say crooked, unlevel. It's visibly unlevel. Um, it is also right across the street from Booker T. Washington High School, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, ma'am. Um, porch is giving me anxiety. That porch is a problem. Um, and I will note that Mr. Thomas appeared in court in June of June 13th of 2023. Oh, I'm sorry. No, he did not. He has not appeared at all. All right. Um, all in spite of the fact that, um, he has been, notice has been sent to his, um, to the address he provided on the appeal sheet. Um, I will note that he has also been in contact with the inspector, so he knows that there that these proceedings are occurring. Um, I am going to go ahead and move forward with the demolition in this matter. There's just not enough progress being made fast enough, and it is right across the street from school. And like I said, there are there are issues that are very easily visible to the naked eye that that show that the house is unlevel at at, at least. Um, so I will go ahead and move forward with a demo on that property and I will get that signed as soon as possible. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. All right. The next matter we'll call up will be number 27, 2304287 PSD regarding 1102 Sheridan Street. Oh. Raise the camera. No, right. Yeah. Hi, Your Honor. Okay. I'm Inspector Lisa Hayes on case number 2304287 PSD 1102 Sheridan street um i'd like to ask that we move forward with demolition the thing is is that this is the same owners who had mm -hmm. and we've already had an mpc sign for historical structure yep. it's already been signed and it needs to come down into danger the way it's sitting up and looking yeah and i would like to go ahead and move forward and that the owner did not have enough decency to come to court on any of his properties today yep. is a uh, is a bad sign all right. I will note that the original inspection occurred in April, or April, April 17th of 2023. I can't speak today. April 17th of 2023. The case was set in uh, regarding this property, um, August 15th of 2024. The defendant was absent in that case. Uh, we continued it to today's date, September 12th, 2024, because we were not sure that we had good notice. However, it is clear that the owner does have notice because there was an email exchange between him and property standards yesterday in which he said that he would not be attending court today. He also unfortunately did not provide an update or any information that I could base a continuance on. Um, I will note that again, to the naked eye, this is an extremely dangerous structure. Uh, it looks like it's about to literally disintegrate. Yes, um, so I'm going to move forward with a demo on that matter. I'm also going to issue a fine in the amount of a hundred dollars. Um, for just failure to do anything on this for well over a year. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll get that judgment signed as soon as possible. Yes, ma'am. 
Case number 31-2310561 PSD on 2900 West Caperton Street. Morning again, Your Honor. Good morning. I will be uh, speaking for Mr. Davis, who's not here today. Okay. Uh, this violation number is 2310561 PSD, 2900 West Carpetone. He said this, sorry. Caperton, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> sorry. Uh, he said this is uh, will be abated. Okay, great. We will show that abated. And then we have matter number 32, which is 2403377 PSG at 3501 Hardy Street. That's correct. Um, I'm not going to repeat that. Okay. Well, he said from all the pictures he took, he said he's going to abate this property also. Look at Inspector Davis go. All right, we will show that abated as well, and I appreciate you giving the update for him. All right, we've got one more. Looks like, what am I pressing? Okay. 2407849 PSG regarding 3530 Clark Boulevard. Yes, ma'am. This will also be abated by me. Oh, and I would like to today. also <laughs> make a note that the ownership of the property has been changed too. Um, I also have a copy of the deed in my uh, photo showing that it has been changed over. Perfect. You are full of good news today. <laughs> all right, we will show that abated. Thank and you. I, that shows. I think that's all of my that's matters. It. Does anybody have that's any it. that I did not take up? That's it. Okay. Y'all have a good day.